Non-disclosure is a fraud on the court. Recently, we wrote about an Ontario Court of Appeal decision, which focused primarily on the interesting legal issue in the family law context. Is it possible for one spouse to commit civil conspiracy against the other spouse? In that decision, there were several other aspects of the family justice system about which the court offered its pointed commentary. Among them was the rampant problem of deliberate non-compliance by litigants in connection with their obligation to provide full and frank disclosure of financial information to each other. After repeating the off-cited comment by the Supreme Court of Canada's ruling in Liskin v. Liskin, to the effect that non-disclosure is the cancer of family law. The court in Leach, which is a recent decision, went on to observe this. The metaphor is, an, this is an apt metaphor. Non-disclosure metastasizes and impacts all participants in the family law process. Lawyers for recipients cannot adequately advise their clients, while lawyers for payers become unwitting participants in a fraud on the court. Judges not correctly guide the parties to a fair resolution at, at family law conferences and cannot make proper decision at trial. Worse, the impact of this fraud on the court is borne most severely by the children. As the court explained, pays are forced to accept arbitrary amount of support, unilaterally determined by the payer. Children must make do with less. All this to avoid legal obligations which have been calculated to be fair, quantification of the payer's required financial contribution. The court's diatribe concluded with these words. In sum, non-disclosure is purely antithetical to the policy animating the family law regime, to the processes that have been carefully designed to achieve, the, to achieve those policy goals. What do you think? Do you agree with the Court of Appeals take on disclosure? I want to thank our listeners and watchers. You can subscribe to upcoming videos. You can like and comment to this video or our podcast. We're going to endeavor to answer all those questions at the end of each week. Until next time, I'm Russell Alexander.